Hi everybody and welcome to part two of my Easter watercolor card tutorial series. If you haven't checked out the first one, then I encourage you to do so. And if you want even more Easter watercolor tutorials, uh, I encourage you to check out last year's. I will include the links to all of those in the description of this video if you're interested. So let's just get right into this one. This one is following the theme of this year's St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day tutorials in that we are going to be painting Easter eggs that span from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner diagonally. And the first thing you want to do is actually sketch out your eggs using a pencil. This just ensures that you have your eggs positioned in the angles that you want it and it just sort of prevents any mistakes. The other thing you want to make sure that you're doing is slightly angling the eggs as you move them across the page. Uh, this kind of makes them look like they're rotating and you also want to progressively paint them on larger and larger with the bottom one being the biggest egg and this just makes um, in my opinion, it makes the card look nicer, but of course you can do whatever you would like. And once you have sketched out those eggs, you can begin to fill them in with watercolor. Now, because eggs tend to be a very boring shape, they're just um, an oval, I wanted to make them a little bit more spiffy and paint them in this rainbow gradient. So in the first egg I painted red and orange, the second egg was orange and yellow, the third egg was yellow and green, and the last one faded into blue and sort of a purple magenta color. Um, you can of course paint them whatever colors you would like, but this was fairly easy and it ended up looking really nice. Once your eggs have completely dried, you want to start filling in the left side of your page. And I know this is technically the right side, but that's just because I flipped the piece of paper over. It's a lot easier to fill it in this way because I'm right-handed, but you can do whatever is easiest for you. So I'm just filling that in using the same gradient uh, that I used for the eggs. And you wanna make sure that you are leaving a very narrow white space between that filled in portion and the eggs because this will ensure that the eggs are actually visible and they look like eggs rather than the rather than you know little circular things sticking out um, so just keep that in mind when you're filling in the uh, the left side of your page Once that has completely dried, you can begin the fun part. And so what you're going to do is take either a black pen or a black marker and you're going to create the really fun patterns that are usually found on Easter eggs. Now you can Google some images of Easter eggs and use those as references or as a reference, or you can just use um, the shapes that I'm free handing here or the patterns that I'm free handing, whatever works for you. But in the first egg, I went with a slightly more complicated pattern made up of zigzags and dots and lines and circles and stuff. Uh, with the second egg, I went with a more simple but fun pattern and I just filled it with polka dots and circles. Uh, the third one, I don't remember actually what I did for the third one. Oh, actually, yes, I do remember. I filled that one in with um, alternating lines and polka dots. And then the last one, I made it a little bit more complicated again, and it followed a similar pattern to that first egg. Uh, you don't have to fill these in uh, with any patterns. You could alternatively just uh, outline the entire egg with a black marker. Uh, it's totally up to you, but I just thought that this made the card pop even more. By the way, I just want to take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this video or this tutorial, and also consider liking the video because it does help uh, me and my channel and it kind of tells YouTube or the YouTube algorithm that people enjoy watching my videos and they will therefore recommend them to even more people.
Once you're finished uh, with the patterns on your eggs, you can pencil in your holiday greeting. So I penciled in, you can barely see there, Happy Easter. I always like to pencil in my greeting before I go over it with a marker because this avoids any spelling errors and it also helps me position my letters in uh, kind of an advantageous way. And you can also um, fill that left portion, that color gradient, with a few polka dots or circles if you would like. It just adds another level of detail to the card that I really think allows it to stand out. And we're all finished! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and check out some of my previous uploads.